This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 496, an excerpt from the book, Stress Less, 100 Mindfulness Exercises for Calmness and Clarity by Kate Hanley, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Thursday, welcome back, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is where I read to you every single day to help you live a more meaningful life, covering personal development, productivity and life hacks, mindfulness and minimalism mostly, from some of the best blogs you can find, but sometimes from books like today. And this book is different than what I've typically read. It's just like the title suggests. It's 100 mindfulness exercises that you can try. I tend to love exercises and experiments. They can be very enlightening and eye-opening. So I thought I'd share a couple of those exercises right from the book, right here in the podcast. And I'll also read the introduction so that's framed nicely for you. And now I'm gonna give away this exact copy that I'm reading from. But I have a feeling that some people might especially want this particular book so I am asking you to do something special to be in the raffle to win this one. You can be in the drawing to win if you come by oldpodcast.com slash raffle. Just comment on that post and you'll be entered. But for now, let's hear the intro to the book and three separate exercises you can try today as we optimize your life. An excerpt from the book, Stress Less, 100 Mindfulness Exercises for Calmness and Clarity by Kate Hanley. Each day is an opportunity to live your best day. Each day you have the chance to find your peace, your purpose, and to feel good about yourself. These goals and many others are absolutely possible if you take charge of your stress. So the next time stress develops in your life, instead of ignoring it or pushing it down, take the time to look inwardly and ask yourself, what can I do to change it? How can I stress less? After all, everyone has stress, but it is how you choose to cope with it that can make all the difference in your daily life. This helpful guide will give you 100 stress-reducing techniques that will not only calm your body, but your mind as well, and allow you to live your life to its fullest. Inside, you'll find relaxation and calming exercises from meditation to yoga to visualization that can all be accomplished in 10 minutes or less. These techniques help you shine the light of awareness on your stress so you can recognize it, deal with it effectively, and get on with your day. You'll also discover motivational quotes with each exercise to give you hope, inspiration, and sometimes a bit of laughter, all proven stress busters. Use these quotes to give yourself a little boost during the day when you feel stress starting to creep over you. The majority of the strategies shared here will help you to focus more on yourself, your body, mind, and soul as a way of shifting your attention away from the things that stress you out. The wonderful paradox is that by focusing on yourself, you also help the people around you. If you do what it takes to up your contentment and clarity, you'll expose the folks around you to less stress and you'll inspire them to cultivate their own sense of calm too. It's a lovely ripple effect that just keeps going and going. And it all starts because you picked up this book. Exercise number 38. One tennis ball, three stress relievers. Quote, a tree that is unbending is easily broken. Lao Tzu. A tennis ball can be a great physical stress buster and a cheap alternative to a professional massage. Here are three ways to use one of those fuzzy yellow spheres. Number one, kick your shoes off and stand up. Roll one foot at a time over the ball from toe to heel and back again. Call it DIY reflexology. Number two, while standing, place the ball of one foot on top of the tennis ball and let that heel drop to the floor for a fabulous calf stretch. Stay five breaths, then switch feet. Number three, lying on the floor on your back, place the ball underneath you just to the right of your tailbone. Moving slowly, roll the tennis ball up one side of the spine and back down the other. It'll make you feel at least an inch taller. Number 46, the trustworthy downward dog. Quote, trust yourself. Create the kind of self that you'll be happy to live with all your life. Make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. Golda Meir. Because it stretches your entire back body, strengthens your upper body, and improves circulation all in a minute or less, a downward dog a day helps keep the doctor away. And because it literally changes your perspective, it helps refresh your thinking too. To do it, start on your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, then strain your legs and lift your hips up so you make the shape of an upside down V. Press strongly into your palms to move more of your weight back toward your heels, which are reaching down to the floor. Let your head dangle, feeling every one of its 10 pounds helping your neck and spine grow longer. To make it more relaxing, 
rest your forehead right at the hairline on a stack of books. To make it more energizing, come forward into the top of a push-up position or plank pose as you inhale and move back into downward dog with each exhalation for a total of five cycles. Whichever form you choose, your back, neck, shoulders, heart, and mind will thank you. Number 96, Mindful Technology. Quote, Few of us ever live in the present. We are forever anticipating what is to come or remembering what has gone. Louis Lemur. As wonderful as technology is, it's also highly addictive and can keep you in a reactive state. Did my phone just buzz? Take a moment to take stock of your technology use. Is there one simple change you could make that would help you be more conscious of how and when you interact with it? Possibilities include, turn off push notifications, use an old school alarm clock instead of your phone, power down all your devices at least 30 minutes before bed, decide to check your email only once an hour or at a few specific times a day, decide on something you'll do before checking your phone, such as three breaths or doing 10 jumping jacks. Just choose one tactic you can commit to. You wanna set yourself up for success. Too many rules may make you feel intimidated and unmotivated. You just listened to an excerpt from the book Stress Less, 100 Mindfulness Exercises for Calmness and Clarity by Kate Hanley. And Kate is a mindset coach, yoga teacher, and writer, obviously. She helps busy people stop stressing about the things that don't matter. You can find more about her and the book at missmindbody.com. That's msmindbody.com. And again, I'm gonna give away this copy right here to someone who wants it bad enough. To be entered, come by oldpodcast.com slash raffle and leave a comment about an episode of this podcast that resonated with you. If one stood out, just tell me about it. If you comment sometime before Saturday, Pacific time, then you'll be entered to win this book. There will be instructions on that post, so all you need to remember right now is to visit oldpodcast.com slash raffle. That's it for today. Have a very happy Thursday, and I'll catch you in the Friday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.